Happy New Year, NAFB members. I hope that your new year is off to a great start and that you're optimistic for everything that's in store for you in 2020. As we begin this new year, I wanted to take some time to recap activities of 2019 as well as to look ahead at the new year. Convention in November gave us an outstanding turnout in attendance. Whether you were a person coming to be a part of the convention or there for trade talk or one of the spokespeople or one of the sponsors, we appreciate everyone's involvement in our convention in Kansas City. It was especially good to have Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue with us at the, this, this past year's convention. And speaking of convention, plans are already well underway for our convention in 2020. Looking forward to seeing you in Kansas City in November. 2019 ended financially strong. It was a good year for the association. If we look at the investments that we have from uh, Edward Jones, we had more than a 17.5% return on those investments. And then over five years ago, we diversified those investments with the, uh, with the purchase of the NAB properties. And we have a building that is full of tenants and continues to have strong commitments from everyone that's a, that's a part of the property here. You know, throughout the year, we have a lot of activities that take place. Marketing communications among the, uh, the thing that I think membership sees a lot of. And a lot of agency visits took place in 2019. When we get out to those agency visits, it's an opportunity to present information about NAFB, the NAFB planner, and to talk about our research. Any questions that may uh, come up, uh, those are always a good opportunity to address those. And speaking of our research, we've just wrapped up the fourth of, of uh, four waves of research from Millennium Research. Over 800 individual farmers and ranchers surveyed in 2019. We'll have the final results of that coming out a little bit uh, later here in this, this first quarter. And looking forward to sharing the results with you. That's a project that actually started with Millennium Research back in 2015. So we continue to grow on that footprint of talking with uh, farmers and ranchers about how they use agriculture media. Ongoing communications, of course, including our on the side of agriculture, our Meet a Member uh, features that you see on, on uh, Facebook as well as on Twitter. Membership news that comes out real regularly. We hope that you're checking and, and reading your email as, uh, as well as some social media posts that we have. And then the new service daily notes that come out from our NAFB news service. A recap of some uh, features and, and information that's available through the NAFB news service. Speaking of the news service then, um, wow. Thank you for uh, participation in that. A lot of farm broadcasters sending in audio. We continue to uh, request that you send in some audio that you might share with other NAFB members. We have clients that utilize the news service in order to tell their story to farmers and ranchers. And we know that that will continue here in this new year. On top of the daily agriculture news that's available, we also have stringers from Washington, D.C., as well as Canada. There are scripts with sound bites. There's voiced raps, and uh, we know that that will continue in, in 2020, as well as a crop tour uh, promotion and, uh, and, and another audio. Probably one of the highlights of the year of 2019 was uh, exclusive audio that we had with President Trump that was distributed to NAB members across the country. Our membership peaked out in 2019 at over 950 members, and we continue to see strong membership as we begin the 2020 year, but that recruiting process continues. If you know some folks that should be involved in NAFB that are connected to Agriculture Communications, we hope that they will be an NAFB member here in this new year. And looking ahead to 2020, what a busy year we have. American Farm Bureau Federation Convention, Cattlemen's Convention, Commodity Classic, all those coming up in February, as well as the NAB Board of Directors meeting and the NAB Foundation Board of Directors meeting. And then we roll into the third month of the year, you get National Agriculture Day, roll on into April. Well, there's NAMA, Leadership NAFB, Washington Watch, and plenty of other meetings that are coming up quickly. We hope that we have the opportunity to catch up with you in the new year sometime soon and hope that your new year is off to a great start. Happy New Year, everyone.